Desperation has brought Mr. Yen to this hospital in Shanghai. He's hoping brain surgery will cure his addiction to drugs. Mr. Yen asked us not to use his full name or show his face because he's afraid of losing his job. He's the first person to undergo deep brain stimulation, or DBS, for methamphetamine addiction in a clinical trial at Reijin Hospital. <laughs> DBS has long been used for movement disorders like Parkinson's disease and is increasingly being used to treat psychiatric conditions like severe cases of obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. It's connected to the lead in the, the patient's brain. The surgery involves implanting a device that works like a pacemaker, using electrodes implanted in the brain to stimulate targeted areas. There are currently eight registered DBS clinical trials for drug addiction in the world, according to a U.S. government database. Six are in China. So for this kind of special psychiatric disorders, we have to use the human patients to do this study. We want to the DBS will will have the will give some give them hope. China has been criticized in the past for its handling of drug addiction, including mandatory treatment centers run by the police and using a controversial brain surgery to curb drug use. Chinese researchers say DBS is less risky than the old brain surgeries because, in theory, it's reversible. For the DBS, we know it's somehow equivalent to the ablation therapy, but it's safer. The first U.S. clinical trial of DBS and opioids could begin in June. Megan Creed has been studying DBS on mice and says it's a promising option. And I think given the uh, crisis that we have with addiction right now, that the prospect of using DBS for addiction uh, is important and very timely. But Creed says surgery will not treat addiction on its own. I do think that when used in combination with things like cognitive behavioral therapy, um, other classical um, treatments for addiction, that it can help patients. It can help them overcome some of that initial craving. China studies so far have offered mixed results, including a fatal heroin overdose after DBS. For Yan, he says surgery was the only chance to get his life back. Five months later, he says he feels stronger. And is still off drugs. Erika Kienitz, Associated Press, Shanghai.